everyone welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new hi my name is Jamie and I'm an OBGYN resident if you are coming back then welcome back today we are going to be doing my January budget recap and then setting up my February budget so I have my computer here with both sets of numbers so I'll be looking down a little bit but I will also insert images so that you guys can follow along what I am talking about so for the month of January my total income was three thousand eight hundred forty dollars and twelve cents from my job and then we got our stimulus check deposit uh, of six hundred dollars but out of that I only received four hundred because I was paying back my husband for some shared expenses from our trip back in November. So I total my total income for that was four thousand four hundred and forty dollars and twelve cents. Out of that, three hundred went directly into my Roth IRA. So in my bank, I had thirty three thousand five hundred and forty dollars and twelve cents plus the four hundred for a total of three thousand nine hundred and forty dollars and twelve cents. So guys, I forgot to mention that I do count rollover balance of my account as income in this particular budget so that the numbers when I balance it out at the end, they all make sense. So I forgot to mention it, but here it is. This month, I contributed a total of $700 between the $300 plus the $400 from the stimulus check into our down payment savings account. I made a split in my emergency fund so I kept $2,500 in my emergency fund and then my I created another savings account for my sinking funds so sinking funds are things that you plan out beforehand and you save up that money to make those payments and when the time comes you already have the money saved up and you don't have to you know plan for it because you already have it so this would be anything like gifts that you that you want to plan for, Christmas shopping, um, any lump sums that you do annually. So if you pay your car insurance in a lump sum, renter's insurance, any of those things you can also plan for by doing sinking funds. So in my sinking funds, I left $80.41 and then I'll be contributing $100 every month to that account and then $300 to the emergency fund and then $400 moving on to the house down payment. So now that we have all of those savings aside, for the month of January, I paid $916.35 for our rent, our utilities, trash, sewer, all of those things. For gas, I ended up not using anything from my checking account for gas. I used my Apple Pay for that. So that will be paid off next month in my Apple balance. The car payment is gonna be deducted at the end of this week for $422.93. Student loans are also being processed this week, so I'm paying off $700. For my Discover, I ended up paying $414.59, $100 to our Amex bill, $273.82 for my Apple card, $150 for my PayPal credit. Total savings was $1,000, $1,295 from Canva, $1,081 from Spotify, and then I calculate all the other random personal expenses from in my cash flow document as miscellaneous. So that was $174.14 as of today, which is the 24th. I don't really plan on doing any expenses this week, so I don't expect this to change, but if it does, it might only be for a couple dollars, so it wouldn't make that much of a difference. So then, total expenses were $4,175.59, and that gives me a closing balance for the account of $484.86. That'll move over to next month and that is usually what I leave in my miscellaneous or unexpected expenses in the budget. I feel like I did pretty good in this month especially because one of my main goals for the year is to decrease my spending. So 
That way I have more money left over to increase our savings or my savings. So if you haven't watched my financial goals video, please check it out in the cards above. And that way you will kind of know what I'm working towards in terms of finances, personal goals, and business goals as well. If you are enjoying this video so far, please remember to hit the subscribe button down below and give this video a big thumbs up if you want to see more monthly budget videos. And you can also follow me on Instagram. I am very active on there. You can see my day-to-day -day life in my stories as well as I started posting a little bit more educational content in my reels recently. So you can go ahead and check that out. The link will be in the description box down below. So moving on to the February budget. So using the January expenses as a template, I can kind of, you know, play with the numbers for February. And on February, I expected a total income of $3,840.12, and I don't expect to make any um, extra income as of now. Rent, $920 is what I always budget because sometimes it's a little bit more, sometimes it's a little bit less, so that way I already know that at least $920 are set aside for rent. My cart payment doesn't change, so it's $422.93. Student loans, I'll be paying $700 more towards that. Gas, $30. Health, $25. Discover, I didn't really spend much this month in my Discover card, so it's about $75 with some pending transactions to go through, so I put budgeted $90 for that. $175 in our Amex, uh, $125 in my Apple card, so you see that I decreased most of those. So overall my spending this month was really good so I'm very happy so I, that kind of motivates me to do the same thing next month. Spotify is $1081, Canva is $1295, then $400 to the Roth IRA so I already made that conversion and that was one of the goals that I had for the near future and I just went ahead and did it and because I saw that the numbers were going to be able to work out. so. $400 will be going to my Roth IRA, $800 in savings, which breaks down to how I already told you, $400 for the house down payment, $300 for the emergency fund, and $100 for sinking funds. In terms of my account, the balances at the end of the month for the Roth IRA, I don't have it yet. I will insert it by the time that you see this video so you can look at it here in the template. $2,500 in my emergency fund, $7,445.07 in my down payment account, and then $80.41 in my sinking funds. So in terms of flexible expenses, same thing as last month, $50 for personal spending, $50 for eating out, and then the remainder, which is what I expect the closing balance to be, will be $388.29 and that should be what is left over. So this month, one of the things that I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and buy the Prolox. I already spoke with my program and we do have educational funds that we can use to buy these kind of things. So it's gonna be, the total is $600 and I am able to use almost $300 from my educational funds towards the Prolox. So that leaves me with needing $300 to pay for the whole set. So. That is one thing that I want to maybe get this month or upcoming month. So between February and March, I want to get that done. Set up the sinking fund direct deposit, set up, like do a projection of the loan payments that I'm doing and with the new Biden um, executive order extending the no interest until September, that gives me a better picture of how I can play with the numbers to try and get those two loans paid off or as much as I possibly can. I need to be more diligent about researching some side income ideas and also we plan to do our taxes next month. So hopefully before the end of February, we'll have all the tax thing documents and things set. Leftover, $0.00 accounts so I told you that I created an extra savings account so I have a checking account three savings account and my Roth IRA so for next month we hope to have finished our taxes increase savings and decrease spending so overall setting myself up for a good year starting off strong so hopefully I can keep this up and if you guys have any recommendations on things that you see that could be improved or anything like that, let me know in the comments below. If you want more budget videos, please remember to give it a thumbs up. And 
that is pretty much it for this video you guys so thank you so so much for watching don't forget to subscribe down below if you haven't already follow me on instagram twitter facebook social media in general to stay up to date with what i am doing and i will see you all in my next video bye guys mm -hmm.